Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm here in Blackpool and look at what we've got behind. Can you see this? Oh, not to loosen clouds. They're here. Yes, they're here. I am stood on, well, I'm stood on some garages actually. These are garages, I think. I am on um, South Shore. Um, it's called Harriside and this is Harriside Bridge here. So it's over the railway track. The railway track is just down here and this gives you a great view of the Pleasure Beach. You can see the Pleasure Beach behind me there. This is a big one here. It's got the, the light on top and, and it's not lit up as well, which is great because it's now it's after midnight. Um, if the Pleasure Beach was lit up, it might be a bit of a problem. But anyway, you can see there that you can see the glow here. Uh, I'm just going to show you a picture now that I took earlier. Absolutely amazing. Uh, from right here. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, check out these amazing noxalucent clouds. This is the first time I've seen them this year. Um, it's Friday. Is it June the 4th or June the 5th? I've, I've kind of lost count. But uh, just check out these amazing clouds here with the pleasure bits in the background and you can see the tower in the distance. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So there you go. Uh, there's another couple turned up now. Uh, my friend there, Kaz, and has turned up to take some pictures. And I have got my cameras now set up on this bridge. So this is the bridge here on Harriside, just across the road from the Armenian kebab shop, which is the best kebab shop in town. There you are. So I've come onto the bridge just to get a different angle. I did take some shots from over there, but I've come up here because I sort of wanted to get a wide shot of the railway track. Can you see the railway track down there? And I've actually pulled back now and I've put my 70 to 200 on, as you can see. And I wanted to zoom in. I'll just show you on the screen. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that amazing? But I just want to show you something. One of the problems I've had. Now, you can photograph these fairly easily. In fact, you can even photograph them with a, with a, with a mobile phone. I just want to show you something. Um, can you see we've got some lights over here, these lights here. Now, those lights are a bit of a problem. If you look on my screen, I'll just show you. Can you see this bit of ghost in here? There's a little bit of ghost in I'll show you a picture now, and you might be able to see it. On It's a bit of flare and I'm struggling with it and I think it's those lights down there that are doing it so I put my lens hood on can you see I've got the lens hood on there and that doesn't seem to uh, block out the uh, the flare there but if I put my hand in a certain place here watch that disappear can you see it can you see it disappear look as long as I don't put my hand too high up so that that's one of the things you've got to watch out for when you're shooting at night you want to try and avoid flare from lights but just look at that i mean i'm filming this with my phone and look you can see the clouds no problem at all and can you see as well that we've got this dark cloud down here in fact it's a bit of a big dark cloud actually i don't like it um but that shows you that that's a normal cloud that cloud is not lit up by the sun but clearly these other <laughs> clouds in fact sorry these other clouds are, are, are lit up by the sun they're illuminated by the sun because they're so high up they're in the mesosphere they're so so high up that they can be seen by the sun and that's what gives them that eerie glow but look at that doesn't it look spectacular look at the contrast between the dark cloud the, the terrestrial cloud should we say and the the, the noctilucent cloud looks absolutely amazing this is a great uh, location for seeing the Pleasure Beach to get a photograph of these clouds. I'll just show you the settings I'm using. 10 seconds, F4, ISO 200, and that gets me that. I will just put it on the screen now for you so you can see it. So as you can see, um, it um, they don't uh, require um, high ISOs or anything like that because um, we're in town, you see. We're looking at these over all these lights, and they're very easy to see. So, so there you go. Not losing clouds, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. So there you go. How about that? The first sighting of not to loosen clouds this year. And I was trying to do a live video. I really wanted to do a live video, but I couldn't change my account on on 
on YouTube. I couldn't change it from my other uh, channel to this one. Doesn't it always do that when when you want to when you really need to do something? It doesn't work. So anyway, I hope I've um, uh, given you a good idea of what these clouds are and what to look for. And we're looking towards the northwest, by the way, at the moment. Sort of northwest, but they are kind of moving towards the north as the sun moves below the horizon as it dips lower and gets to its lowest point in the north and then starts to come up again towards the yeah, northeast. Yes, so they could show up in the northeast, more towards dawn when the sun rises. So you can either see them after sunset, say from about an hour to an hour and a half after sunset, or if they don't show up then, they could show up later, you know, they could show up more like say two to three o'clock in the morning or something like that. So this gives you an idea of when to look for them. So there you go. That was my little video on not losing clouds. And um, I'm going to stay here taking some more pictures. I might move somewhere else. Um, they're still very bright, but that dark cloud, in fact, they look really good against that dark cloud because the contrast is amazing. You've got that really dark cloud there that not lit up by the sun at all because the sun is so low down but you've got these glowing clouds here the ice clouds that are lit up but they can see the sun and that's why they're glowing against the twilight sky absolutely amazing anyway i hope you liked the video and if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again next time